Welcome back to MQ Trader. Today we would like to talk about how the turtles apply turtle strategy. Turtle trading is a trend following strategy used by traders to benefit from the sustained momentum. It tends to look for both upside and downside breakouts which are used as the main concept of turtle trading. Turtle strategy using an important indicator which is the Donkian channel which was created by Richard Donkian. There were two systems to choose for. System 1, short-term system based on 20-day breakout. System 2, long-term system based on 55-day breakout. There are six components on turtle strategy. Market, what to buy or sell. Position sizing, how much to buy or sell. Entries, when to buy or sell. Stops, when to get out of losing position. Exits, when to get out of a winning position. Tactics, how to buy or sell. The first decision is what to buy or sell, or essentially, what markets to trade. If you trade too few markets, you greatly reduce your chances of getting aboard a trend. At the same time, you do not want to trade markets that have too low of trading volume, or that do not trend well. Through the list we can know that the turtles trade in different markets. For example, 30 years US Treasury bond, 10 years US Treasury note, coffee, cocoa, foreign currency, stock market, and others. Position sizing is the decision about how much to buy or sell is fundamental, and yet is often glossed over or handled improperly by most traders. How much to buy or sell affects both diversification and money management. The Turtles used a concept that Richard Dennis and William Eckhart called N to represent the underlying volatility of a particular market. What the actual meaning of N? N is simply the 20-day exponential moving average of the true range, which is now more commonly known as the ATR. N represents the average range in price movement that a particular market makes in a single day, account of opening gaps. N was measured in the same points as the underlying contract. The turtles built positions in pieces which we called units. Units were sized so that one N represented 1% of the account equity. Thus, a unit for a given market or commodity can be calculated using this formula. The main purpose of the position sizing is to diversify the risk. The turtle system used market volatility to measure the risk involved in each market. Since the turtles used the unit as the base measure for position size, and since those units were volatility risk adjusted, the units was a measure of both the risk of position and of the entire portfolio of position. The turtles were given risk management rules that limited the number of units that we could maintain at any given time, on four different levels to control the total risk that a trader could carry, and these limits minimize losses during prolonged losing periods, as well as during extraordinary price movements. The turtles were given rules for two different but related breakout systems we called System 1 and System 2. Turtle said we were given full discretion to allocate as much of our equity to either system as we wanted. Some of us chose to trade all our equity using System 2, some chose to use a 50% System 1, 50% System 2 split, while others chose different mixes. System 1, a shorter term system based on a 20-day breakout. System 2 a simpler long-term system based on a 55-day breakout. Entered position when the price exceeded by a single tick the high or low of the preceding 20 days or 55 days. Turtles entered single unit buy at the breakouts and added those positions at 1 over 2 N intervals following their initial entry. The turtles were told to be very consistent in taking entry signals, because most of the profits each year might come from only two or three large winning trades. If a signal were skipped or missed, this could greatly affect the returns for the years. Getting out of a losing position is critical. Traders who do not cut their losses will not be successful in the long term. Having stops did not mean that the turtles always had actual stop orders placed with the broker. Turtles said since the turtles carried such a large position, we did not want to reveal our position or our trading strategies by placing stop orders with brokers. Instead, we were encouraged to have a particular price, 
which when hit, would cause us to exit our positions using either limit order or market orders. These stops were non-negotiable exits. If a particular commodity traded at the stop price, then the position was exited, each time, every time, without fail. What is the stop placement? The turtles place their stop based on position risk. No trade could incur more than 2% risk. Since 1N of price movement represented 1% of account equity, the maximum stop that would allow 2% risk would be 2N of price movement. Turtles stops were set at 2N below the entry for long positions, and 2N above the entry for short positions. To keep total position risk at a minimum, if additional units were added, the stop for earlier units were raised by 1 over 2N. This generally meant that all the stops for the entire position would be placed at 2N from the most recently added units. The turtle stops were based on N, they adjusted to the volatility of the markets. More volatile markets would have wider stops, but they would also have fewer contracts per unit. This equalized the risk across all entries and resulted in better diversification and a more robust risk management. There is old saying you can never go broke taking a profit. The turtle would not agree with this statement. Getting out of winning positions too early, for example taking profit too early, is one of the most common mistakes when trading trend following systems. The turtle will prefer to let profit run rather than take the profit early when the trend is still there. The turtle also knew that where you took a profit could make the difference between winning and losing. How the turtles exits to take profit. There are two system the turtles use for exits. For system one, the exit was a 10 days low or high for a long or short position. All the units in the positions would exist if the price went against the position for a 10 days breakout. For system two, the exit was a 20 days low or high for a long or short position. All the units in the positions would exist if the price went against the position for a 20 days breakout. When there are long positions, the exit points are 10 day low for system one and 20 day low for system two. When there are short positions, the exit points are 10 day high for system one and 20 days high for system two. As with entries, the turtles did not typically place exit stop orders, but instead watched the price during the day and started to sell the position as soon as the price traded through the exit breakout price. Turtles will need to take note on this three things regard tactics. Fast markets, fast markets move very quickly through the order prices, and if you place a limit order it simply will not get filled. During fast market conditions, a market can move thousands of dollars per contract in just a few minutes. During these times, the turtles were advised not to panic, and to wait for the market to trade and stabilize before placing their orders. Simultaneous entry signals, we might go for days without placing a single order. Other days would be moderately busy, with signals occurring intermittently over the stretch of a few hours. In that case, we would simply take the trades as they came, until they reached the position limits for those markets. Buy strength, sell weakness, if the signals came all at once, we always bought the strongest markets and sold short the weakest markets in a group. The important thing is to have long positions in the strongest markets and short positions in the weakest markets. In this video, we had completed all the six components under turtle strategy which are market, position sizing, entries, stops, exits and tactics. In the next video, we will talk about how turtle strategy applies in MQ Trader system and also how can we use this strategy in MQ Trader system.